Hey friends, it is Isaac Hayes bringing a brand new video. And today I'm going to be starting off a new series to my channel. It's going to be called How to Win Competitive Search and Destroy. I'm actually not sure exactly what I'm going to call it, but it's going to be along those lines. I'm going to be giving you guys all the tips that I have to win competitive Search and Destroy in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now recently I've become a bit of an S&D star. I haven't been playing very much Respawn lately just because I'm not having as much fun with it as I do with S&D. And I might as well just become pretty much of an S&D star until I turn 18 because you can't go to lands or anything. You can't compete until you're 18 now because of the new rules. But So anyway, this very first episode of this brand new series is just going to be me introducing this series. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the first tip that I have for you. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to wiggle peek. So wiggle peeking is something that every good competitive player knows about. And basically it lets you get information. It lets you know when to push. And let me show you how to do it. So say you're on defensive side. You have an SMG and you want to check trains. But you don't want to get one bursted by an M8. So what you want to do is you just want to wiggle. And as you can see, I saw that guy in middle train tracks. I can either challenge him and jump up like that, and he'll, he'll be pre me down here because he thinks I'm going to wiggle peek again probably. So you want to wiggle peek, and then you can challenge. Or the best way, which I usually do right here, if I'm playing against really good players and they can one burst and react and stuff, I'll literally just wiggle peek, get information, and then come back and just ditch and wait for my teammates to come rotate and help me. Yeah, it allows you to get a lot of information, and you can literally wiggle peek everything on the map. So that's what it means when somebody on your team says, yo, wiggle that, yo, wiggle peak bomb, wiggle peak train tracks, wiggle wiggle trains, bro, wiggle trains. That's what that means. Yeah, it's a really, really good tactic to use. Uh, you can literally wiggle peak anything when you have a sub. Just don't wiggle peak twice. Usually, if you wiggle peek one time and you wiggle peek again and that guy saw you the first time, he'll pre you and he can one burst you once you wiggle peek the second time. So... There's certain times when you can wiggle peek twice, but usually you want to just wiggle peek once, see as very much as you possibly can, and then just ditch. Just ditch and tell your teammates where that guy or those people were, and just use it as an information getter. Well guys, I guess that's going to be it. I just really wanted to introduce the series, see what you guys think, and show you how to wiggle peek, because wiggle peeking is actually very, very important. It allows you to get all that information and stuff like I said. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new and go check out my other videos. Let me know in the comment section if you like this series because I'm going to do it and uh, I think it's a pretty cool idea. I'm going to show you guys some pretty cool things and I guess that's going to wrap it up. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. -bye.